Hey, Hawaiian Jeff here from the Jersey Shore. There's a few things about Actuate Bert that I want to show you. Ever have this problem? You're given a data set and it just has numbers for months, but your users want to see the month name? Well, I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can accomplish switching these numbers to names without much effort. Now in BERT, we like to say there's more than one way to do things. So here we are in the design, and I just have a simple chart connecting to a simple data set from my corporate DB. So I'll make a copy of this chart. And the first way I'm going to show you how to do this is through scripting. So we'll go into the script editor for our x-axis, and I'll simply change out the row month that's there into this script. And all this is doing is just simply assigning the value from that row into a variable, creating an array of the month names, and then returning just that particular corresponding element in the array from our row month. Now the challenge with this is that everything's going to come back as a string and it's going to want to sort it like a string. In order to sort it chronologically, we're going to need to tell it a numeric value to sort on. Well, we already have it. That's the row month. And we don't need any grouping here, so I'll turn that off. And I'll just make a quick change to the title. And there, very quickly, we're able to convert the month numbers into the month names. Now let's try a different way. So again, copying and pasting my existing chart. I'll then go in and modify it. But what I've done was set up another data source called a static data source. Then I created a static data set. That's just simply the month number and the month name. Then I filled in the values. Not too complicated, there was only 12 of them. I was able to handle that on my own. Then I created a join data set. That join data set married together the two separate data sets, one from my corporate database that only had the month number, and my static data set where I have the month name. I told it which two fields to match it up on, and there we see that it's doing its job. Now in our chart, we can go to our data tab, tell it, let's use our join data set, and then we can simply drag in our month name column. Same problem here, it's going to want to sort by the actual name of the month instead of the chronological order. So we'll do our sorting again. And a quick change to the title. And there we have the month name from a joined data set. There's probably other ways you could accomplish this, such as using a calculated column in your original data set. But this is just a few techniques that you're able to utilize within Actuate BERT. Have questions, need some assistance with Actuate BERT? Hit me up at one of these locations.